Hey guys, thanks for watching another video. Something a little different this time around. Going to be changing the oil on our 2018 Pathfinder. Going to be using Penn's oil. You need 0W20 synthetic. That's what it calls for. You can look in your manual or up here on your hood. If it focuses, it tells you here. Engine oil viscosity. SAE 0W20. In case you forget, you don't want to search through the manual, it's right under your head. And also, we'll be changing the oil filter as well. And with the mobile one, it's the M1 108. We don't drive this car hard, it's not a race car, it's no Mustang. So changing the oil filter this time, but I'd probably only do it every two or three oil changes. So first things first, we'll get it jacked up and I'll show you okay, what we're doing. Cars up. If you look underneath, you got your little notches. I got a little bit in the wrong spot, but you got your notches. That's where they want you to put your jack stands. I just leave the jack under there a little extra safety. You don't want this thing crashing down on you while you're working on it. So, passenger side if you come over here you got one two that one's already out three four you're looking at these little clips here and then you can see this section around here will pop off and that's your oil filter will be sitting right behind there I pulled one of the clips out already basically you just pop up the middle Get a little flat head under there and it'll release the other end. You can pull it out. And then all you do, once you put it back on, put it in. You push this closed. You can see it opens. And that'll hold it back in place once you're done. So for these clips, basically get a little flat head. Just wiggle it. You can see it starts to come open. You'll hear the click. Just grab it pull it out that's all you got to do all right she's off and then you look in here there's your oil filter right there you can do it if you jack up the car you can get at it from underneath it's just a huge pain it's easier it takes two minutes to jack up the car rip the tire off just take the clips out you got all this open space to do your work all right first thing you want to do like any oil change Get your oil cap, undo it, sit it up there, make sure it doesn't get any dirt, gunk on it, you don't want anything getting in the engine. And that'll let your oil drain out a lot smoother down there. And kind of hard to see with the light, but that's where your dipstick is. So we'll check our oil once we're all done, make sure the levels are good. Now let's get back under the car. Okay, so the cap's off up top. Now if you look in here, kind of hard to see. Not this one, but that black little blob there is your oil plug. It's 14 millimeter bolt. Crank it lefty loosey. Get your oil pan ready some cardboard in case you miss. You can see by the looks of the cardboard I've missed a few times with the Mustang, but this only has half the amount of oil as the Mustang, so I'm hoping it's not that big of a mess. And this is gonna be too hard to record with one hand and get this off with one hand, so we'll get her undone and I'll show you what it looks like after that. Okay guys, here's your oil plug. Just a tiny bolt, 14 mil little washer on there some people like to change them maybe every two or three times I don't know it's a crush washer it helps with the seal I forgot to get one so I'm not changing it this time but just don't crank it down like the Hulk and you should be okay to go and always lay down cardboard because you can see I went to Slide the oil pan over to catch it. The tidal wave effect right over the edge, so 
If you didn't have the cardboard, all that nice oil would be over your garage floor right now. You can see we've still got a couple drips coming out of there. So I'll give it another few minutes. So for now we'll work on getting the oil filter off. Alright, for the oil filter, I already pre-loosened it. So don't freak out. It's not supposed to be this loose. But you can get it by hand. You just need two hands, so you can't record and do this at the same time. All you do, thread it off. You'll get a little more oil coming out of here as well, so move your drain pan over. Just keep going. And there you go. Wait till that drains, wipe up your frame a bit because for some reason all these guys have everything right where it pours over the whole damn car but nothing we can do about that it's your old filter you can see how black it is as way overdue for the oil change but been too lazy so we'll let that drain for a bit and we'll start putting her all back together okay guys that's almost done draining See, it's got a couple drips coming out still. We'll give it a couple more minutes. So, grab your new oil filter here. You can see compared to the old one, it's a little smaller. Not by much. But, it'll work. Grab your new oil. I'm not going to do this with one hand because I'll spill it all over the place. But Fill it up. You don't need it right to the top. About halfway is good enough. Just give it a little extra lube in there. And the other thing, just dip your finger in. You want to oil up around the gasket. That way when you screw it back on, nothing binds. You got a good seal. You won't have a leak. Otherwise, you got to do this all over again. So we'll fill it up. Get the car cleaned up, wipe all the gunk off there and we'll put her back on and fill it up. And we got our new filter here. I don't know if you can really see it in there but we got our oil in there. And even with two hands you can see I still managed to spill it on the ground. But Little trick when you're pouring with the giant jugs of oil Grab it, hard with one hand, but grab it here and kind of pour it like backwards into the filter and you'll spill a lot less. If you pour it forwards, it bubbles out and it'll run down the side of the jug. It's just a big pain in the ass, so little tip. All right, so I threw a little more oil in there just so you guys can see. Once you pour it in, it'll bubble down, it kind of, the hole in the middle is tiny, and it'll go through the filter so it spreads out and slowly drains to the bottom, so. Now you can see in here, about halfway, come over here, puking out still, grab your rag, one last little wipe down, try to keep it as clean as you can. Grab your filter. Line it up. It's a lot easier with two hands, but you know, it is what it is. Twist her down. You got oil in there, so you'll spill a little bit out of there again. But it's better to have some in there than none. Crank it down. Doesn't have to be extremely tight, hand tight's good enough. I like to use two hands, so we'll pause the video here and get it tightened down and fill her back up. Alright guys, last part for under here, other than putting the wheel back on. Get your little cover back in. You can see I got the one clip in there just to hold it up so we can show you guys. Grab your clips, you got one more there, you got your two down on the side. 
you basically just put it in give it a push it'll click and that's it it's in simple okay so on your dipstick when you're filling it up we got our funnel in there we put a, most of it in I just left a little out you don't want to overfill it so uh, before we check wipe your dipstick off you can see you got an L and an H low and high you want your oil to be somewhere in the crosshatch area there closer to the middle you can get it the better but as long as it's in that little crosshatch area you're good okay so I thought I'd throw this one little part in there if you look down there that brass looking part this here is kind of like a guide to get your dipstick back in because that tiny hole there is where this goes in so if you bring it down with that bump on the end up then when you drop it down in there it kind of guides it into the hole and you can push it back in if you do it the other way it binds on the bottom and you can't shove it in so little tip okay guys so you can see we're right at the end of the hatch there you don't want to go past the H, so it's a good thing. I didn't put the whole jug in there. In the book it says 4.8 liters if you're doing the oil filter, which we did. I think it was 4.5 if you're not doing the oil filter. But I probably put in about 4. A little over 4. We're already at the mark, so I'll get it all buttoned together and we'll go inside i'll show you how to reset the oil life in your car okay guys we got it all buttoned up one thing i forgot to mention earlier when you put your tire back on 83 foot pounds is what they wanted the lug nuts tightened down to kind of a weird number but it's what it says in the book so 83 pounds it is okay guys to reset the oil life in your car now you don't have to turn the vehicle on just hit your button so you're Gauges and everything light up, you can at least go into this. Hit your button up here. You can see it scrolls through all the different settings. Go to settings. Scroll down. You'll see there's a maintenance section. Hit enter. Service. Hit enter again. Then go down. Reset. And that's that. Your oil life would be reset. You hit the low arrow, that'll bring you back if you hit the wrong one. Hit it again, you're out of there. And then if you have the nav, you can come over here, hit your apps. You can go up top, you'll see maintenance note. Hit that. Maintenance. Tells you reminders and stuff. My oil was due a long time ago, I got room one reminder for the engine go to your engine engine oil hit that you can see you can i'm 1800 kilometers overdue i have it set for 8000 every 8000 kilometers it'll remind you to reset your oil and basically to reset it if you want the reminder to stay on keep reminder on if not push it it'll just be in there but it won't tell you when you need to do it Hit reset. There you go. That's all you got to do. Once you start driving, kilometers will start climbing. When you get up to 8,000 kilometers from now, it will tell you you need to reset it. Then if you go back, same thing, oil filter. Set the distance. We'll put that to 8,000 as well. You can see it says 10,000 overdue because we haven't changed it. We didn't do it on the last oil change. And currently we're at 18,000, so. That's why it's 1,000 overdue. Same thing, if you want a reminder, hit the reminder, hit reset, and that's it, you're done. 
And basically, that's all you need to know. If you liked the video, if it was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe. It's mostly stuff with my Mustang on this channel, but we do odds and ends with other cars as well. So make sure you stay tuned. Hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching.